The Manhole Chronicles, Quest for the Enchanted Depths Volume 1, Created and Written, by Ray Zion Chapter 1, The Golden Manhole Ryan Thatcher had always been fascinated by manholes. As a child, while other kids played with toy cars and action figures, Ryan spent his days exploring the mysterious steel discs dotting the streets of his hometown. He would peer through the gaps, imagining the labyrinthine tunnels and secret worlds hidden beneath. To him, manholes were more than just mundane pieces of infrastructure. They were gateways to adventure. Now, at the age of thirty-two, that childhood curiosity had matured into a full-blown obsession. Ryan worked as a civil engineer, specializing in urban infrastructure, but his passion for the underground world extended far beyond his job. His apartment was filled with books on urban exploration, maps of sewer systems, and artifacts he had collected over the years from various subterranean expeditions. Friends and family often teased him about his peculiar hobby, but Ryan didn't mind. He felt a connection to the underground that he couldn't quite explain, a feeling that there was something more waiting to be discovered. It was a crisp Saturday morning when Ryan's life changed forever. He awoke in his modest apartment, a beam of sunlight piercing through the blinds and landing squarely on his face. Groggily, he sat up, stretching his limbs and trying to shake off the remnants of sleep. The day ahead was meant for relaxation, perhaps a little reading, and maybe another exploratory trip to a nearby sewer system he hadn't yet fully mapped. As he shuffled into the living room, still rubbing his eyes, something strange caught his attention. In the middle of his carpeted floor, right where his coffee table usually stood, was a manhole cover. But this was no ordinary manhole cover. It was made of gleaming gold, intricately engraved with symbols and patterns that seemed to shift and dance as he looked at them. His heart skipped a beat. He had never seen anything like it. Ryan approached cautiously, his mind racing with questions. How had this manhole cover appeared in his living room? What did it mean? He reached out tentatively, his fingers trembling as they brushed against the cool, metallic surface. The moment his skin made contact, a surge of energy shot through his body and the world around him dissolved into a blur of light and color. When the disorientation faded, Ryan found himself standing in an expansive, opulent throne room. The walls were adorned with shimmering tapestries depicting fantastical scenes, and the floor was made of polished marble that seemed to glow with an inner light. At the far end of the room, seated on a massive golden throne, was a figure unlike any Ryan had ever seen. The being was tall and imposing, with an aura of immense power. He wore a robe of deep blue that seemed to ripple like water, and his eyes glowed with a radiant intensity. His face was both youthful and ancient, a paradox of time that spoke of countless ages. Ryan felt a wave of awe and fear wash over him as he gazed at the figure. Welcome, Ryan Thatcher, the figure said, his voice resonating through the hall like a deep, melodic chime. I am Manholius, the guardian of the manholes and the overseer of the enchanted depths. Ryan blinked trying to process what he was hearing. Manholius, guardian of the manholes, he repeated, his voice shaky. What is this place? How did I get here? Manholius smiled, a kind yet enigmatic expression. This is the throne room of the enchanted depths, a realm beyond the ordinary world, you know. You have been brought here because you are special, Ryan. You are the last in a long line of manhole adventurers, guardians of the balance between the realms. Ryan's mind reeled. Guardians? Balance? I don't understand. Manholius rose from his throne, descending the steps with a graceful, almost ethereal movement. 
Your fascination with manholes is no mere coincidence, Ryan. It is a calling, an inherited duty. You are destined to traverse the magical realms connected by these manholes, to ensure the balance and harmony between them. It is a task that requires courage, wisdom, and the special gift that only you possess. Ryan felt a surge of emotion, fear, excitement, confusion, all at once. But I don't have any special gifts. I'm just a guy who likes exploring sewers. Manholius chuckled softly. You underestimate yourself, Ryan. The gift is within you, waiting to be awakened. Kneel before me, and I shall grant you the knowledge and power to fulfill your destiny. Despite the surrealness of the situation, something in Manholius's words resonated deeply with Ryan. He felt a sense of purpose he had never known before. With a deep breath, he knelt before the Guardian, his heart pounding in his chest. Manholius extended his hand, a shimmering light emanating from his palm. By the power vested in me, I bestow upon you the knowledge of the enchanted depths, the ability to see and use the magical manholes, and the wisdom of a thousand realms. Just as Manholius's hand was about to touch Ryan's head, a deafening roar shattered the tranquility of the throne room. The walls trembled, and a massive, monstrous beast burst through, its colossal form filling the space. It was a creature of nightmares, with scales like iron, eyes like molten lava, and a maw filled with razor-sharp teeth. Manholius barely had time to react before the beast lunged, its jaws closing around him with a sickening crunch. The Guardian's body vanished in an instant, consumed by the monstrous foe. Ryan could only watch in horror, frozen in place as the beast turned its fiery gaze upon him. So... You are the one prophesied to destroy me? The beast's voice rumbled, echoing inside Ryan's head. This puny little human, I will finally end the manhole guardians once and for all. The beast lunged at Ryan, and he braced himself for the end. But just as the creature's claws were about to strike, everything went black. Ryan awoke with a start, his heart racing, his body drenched in sweat. He was back in his apartment, lying in his bed. The golden manhole cover was gone, and the living room looked as ordinary as ever. For a moment, he wondered if it had all been a dream, a vivid, terrifying dream. But then he noticed the marks on his skin, faint glowing symbols that pulsed with a gentle light. He knew then that it had been real. The throne room, Manholius, the beast, it was all real. And now, he had a destiny to fulfill. Ryan rose from his bed, a new determination burning within him. The adventure he had always dreamed of was just beginning, and he was ready to embrace it, whatever dangers lay ahead.